we are conscious that the greatest tragedy other than those who were directly affected physically by COVID or in their households by COVID and the loss of persons with COVID have been our children. How many of us in this room could have survived the absence of three years of regular education? How many of us? Where would we be today? And therefore it cannot be business as usual now that the schools have started back pretty much on a regular routine. We have to determine the status of each and every child. Because as I said, when we passed the education white paper in 1995, each one matters. And we have to come up with an individual plan that allows us then to be better able to deliver the bridging deficit, to close the bridging deficit with each and every child. Because if we don't do it now, we will pay the price at some other point in our society and in our future.